Hello, dear friends. Today I'm going to introduce the basic uh, anatomy. Uh, so I hope it will help for, for, for the first year and second year medical students, uh, for second year uh, medical students for the revision, first year uh, student for the, you know, uh, giving some uh, ideas uh, for the what is the anatomy and uh, give some, you know, li a little bit uh, 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 idea how to approach the anatomy, okay? So uh, let me start from the uh, uh, definition of anatomy. Uh, actually, they have lots of definitions uh, given by the scientists or doctors, but I am listing here some very important uh, definitions given here. Uh, you can see here. First uh, of all, it is some scientists or, or some doctor that can it give definition like it is the concerns with the consideration of the various structure which makes up the human body okay it's also can given like the anatomy deals with the parts uh, which form the full developed individual and can be demonstrated to the neck the eye by various methods of dissection okay as well as uh, some you know definition also it give like uh, it is an important scientific discipline which is concerns uh, with the investigation of biological structure okay it's well, uh, according to this definition, you have to know this, uh, there are four factors. First of all, you have to dissection, the macro dissection, uh, light macroscopy, and electro macroscopy, okay? Now you, we are, actually, they have two system we have to follow. Uh, some countries, they follow the regional anatomy. If you follow this anatomy, in this case, it, it deals with anatomy of various structures as they lie in a relationship with one another in different regions of the body, okay? It is uh, uh, valuable for the surgeons. Many, it's for surgeons. Uh, most, you know, Western countries, they will teach in the system. Uh, most Indian MBBS, they will study from the, this, uh, okay, regional. And uh, most foreign, they will teach in systemic okay now we have to start in this uh, surface and what is surface and surface and it deal with the study and the identification of the various structure in the living person by method of inspection you have to see and blood pressure you have to touch and uh, have uh, have science uh, to gain the abnormalities of the uh, now you know uh, body okay now uh, then it helped to enhance the knowledge acquired through the dissections of the uh, cadaver by either of line of the study, regional or systemic too, okay? It, help, uh, it is helpful both the health and disease and it is still used in medical practice, okay? Now radiologically anatomy, uh, what is it like? It is deals with the study of structures of the human body with the at or use of the X-ray, okay? It's helpful to the investigate the anatomical effects which cannot uh, be understood by any other method. It is very useful both in healthy and disease. It is a current, in current use in modern medical practice. We still we use because we use radiology, uh, radiography, we, uh, we have studied, you, you, you will study in next, uh, uh, from the third year or second year, okay? Uh, now, embryology is the study. Now we'll give you a definition of embryology. Embryology is the study of various changes in the developing organism from the fertilization of ovine up to the birth of the baby. This is uh, called uh, embryology. Okay. Then, cytology is the many study of the cells by various biological methods. The cell defined as structure unit of multi cellular uh, organism like humans and uh, animals. Okay. Histology is mainly study of the tissues, okay, by very scientific method like uh, use of microscopy and histochemistry and radiography. We have to use this te uh, technology and a tissue may be also defined a combination of various cells performs as certain functions. You can also say directly uh, a combination of cells which forms the uh, uh, tissue, okay. Apply the clinical anatomy it is very important in the after you graduation it is the direct application of fact of home anatomy to the medicine and surgery the students uh, are uh, advised to lay the studies on the applied aspects while they are studying gross anatomy in dissection hall okay it's very important we have to learn 
uh, with theoretical okay systemic anatomy i would say system is mostly uh western curriculum the description of like uh, a civ uh, civil system of organs spiritually and in uh, logical order comes under the heads of the syst uh, systematic anatomy the several parts of the east system not only show sufficient similarity of the structure but are also associated in specialized function the basic knowledge of the body you have to know this basic uh, is a collection of cells of similar morphology perform a specific function each term tissue okay there are four types of tissues you see here first epithelium tissue connective tissue then muscle tissue nervous tissue it's uh, you have to learn in uh, histology okay organs and organ system you know uh, is a succession of different tissue which perform center functions called organ bones example bone muscles heart and stomach urinary bladder okay this and then a group of organ working uh, harmoniously to discharge specific function from the uh, organ system you can say system okay uh, you see they have 11 system in our body you have to know this first of all integumentary system and a skeletal system and a circulatory system digestive system a respiratory system urinary system a reproductive system nervous system muscular system endocrine system lymphatic system okay now i'm going to some a little bit uh, uh, introduce some terminology you know what is the anatomical position it's very important uh, when you use in clinical so it will be very used anatomical position is the specific body position in a human in which an indi uh, individual stand upright with the feet parallel and flat on the floor okay head should be the liver and the eyes looking forward toward the observer the arm arms uh, at the either sides of the body with the uh, and the pelvis face toward should be face toward okay and the thumbs points away from the body let us say okay plane okay also what is a plane plane is a imaginary surface uh, that slice the body into the specific section there are three uh, major plane like uh, cor uh, coronal and transverse and sagittal plane uh, i'm introduced from first from coronal plane is also called a frontal plane which uh, is a vertical plane as well uh, that divided the body into front and back as well as anterior and posterior part okay then transverse plane it is also called another is cross sectional plane or horizontal plane is cut perpendicular along the long axis means it's uh, the body organ spirit in, into uh, both upper and lower means super and infer okay now you see here sagittal plane is the, also called midden plane it extends throughout the body or organs vertically and divided this structure into right and left okay these are the main three uh, plane then also they have uh, uh, another plane is mid sagittal which is parallel to the uh, uh, sagittal as well as they have another is plane that's parallel to the mid sagittal plane that was either left or right of it is terms uh, parasagittal okay it's a plane it's a minor plane like called is oblique which plane passes through the specimen at an angle little bit angle plane it is you have to say oblique plane okay and if uh, terms are precise and brief uh, and uh, brief and uh, for the most of them there is a cor uh, correlative terms that means just the opposite you know some very important terms like uh, frontal and uh, uh, posterior like this uh, intro intro means is uh, many from uh, front okay uh, toward the front surface or posterior means uh, toward the back sides okay uh, it's a very easy definition dorsal means it's uh, from the back and the back side as well as a ventral means uh, um, ventral means from the uh, front sides okay it's also most used animal as uh, dorsal and uh, and uh, ventral most used uh, uh, super means from the toward you know super means toward the head okay means above as well as inform is toward the feet uh, toward the feet uh, it's just also called uh, toward the tail okay uh, cranial means it also toward the head okay end of the head you can say cranial also middle it's different with the uh, midline okay uh, referring to the midline and uh, toward the midline is called middle it is a comparatively uh, uh, objective uh, uh, 
Okay, so objective uh, words. Okay, you have to know. Then lateral is the away from the away from the midline. Away from the midline. It's called lateral. Deep means inside. Means it's referred to the layers. Uh, two layers in outside, inside, inside deep uh, structure it means on the inside, underneath. Okay, superficial means on the outside means. You know, uh, now it is uh, related to the point of attachment of the appendages. You know, approximately means toward the uh, attachment. Okay, distal means farthest from the uh, from the points of attachment. Farther from the point of the attachment. Okay, it is a proximal and this is the most used in the uh, skeletal uh, system is very important also in the body regions we have to know that body human body is uh, partitioned into the two main regions called the axillary and appendicular it's both in skeletal uh, as well as muscle system you have to know uh, these two things are uh, mostly uh, description here okay axillary regions include which head and neck as, and trunk uh, which comprise uh, the main uh, vertical axis of the, our body okay as we say our appendix is limp or appendage and attached to the body axis and make of the appendicular region thank you so much uh, see you next lecture